Hi, everybody. My name is Keelan, and we are here at Pomedia, or this wonderful little nature scene we have behind us. But we are here in Seguin, Texas, coming to you with another live show. This one is going to include only items that are $50 and under. So there is no reason to go into your piggy banks or your savings today. For those of you who are brand new to our show, welcome. We are so happy to have you. If you plan on ordering today or in the future, we just need your email address and that is all. Please send that to us through private message. We offer free shipping for orders over $99 to the lower 48 states. Other than that, there will be a $9 shipping fee. If you see anything on this table that you like, all you have to do is comment for the number of the item. So if you like number one, you just say sold number one. Like now, because I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. Ah, there we go. So, number one, we have this 16-ounce bubble mug from Ceramica Artist Stitchna in the Auntie M Sapphire pattern. This is so cute. It is very simple, so you are not having to worry about it being too busy with the little blue sapphire flowers here. This is going to be $23, originally $47, and like I said, it is 16 ounces. And that pattern does continue all the way around the rim. There's not a lot going on, but it's pretty simple, so it's not going to clash with anything you have at home. I like it whenever a lot of the natural clay color is able to come through. Number two, I have this latte mug also from Ceramica Artist Stitchna. This one is in the evergreen wreath pattern for $30 and it holds about 14 ounces. It is originally 61 and we've got lots of greenery here, even on the handle. And it's a nice mixture of this sort of jade green and this light green that it looks a little lime on my screen, but it is more soft in person. And like I said, these are 14 ounces and $30 today. Number three, now this is probably one of my personal favorite shapes. This is Poppies in the Snow in a 17 ounce mug and for $26, originally 53. This one has some little white daisies here against the clay color and the dark blue cobalt. I like this shape because it's rounded out at the bottom like the bubble mugs, but it has this narrowing towards the top and then the lip that spits out. It's just comfortable. I have a fan blowing right now and I keep on getting hair in my mouth and eyes. Oh no, no, no. And number four, this one is pretty similar. This is Daisy Crown, but this is in a 17 ounce bistro mug. And you can see the slight differences here. So rather than the pattern being all throughout the mug, it's circulated just around the rim. And this is 32, originally 65. With the cobalt rim. This is also a comfortable shape. I know a lot of people use this or the 15 ounce bistro mugs pretty often for things like their morning coffee. Nice. And next for number five, I have this 12 ounce mug from Manufactura. This is a Rising Rose, Rising Roses Yellow Morning. There we go. So this one is a little bit busier. You have more of a yellow background than that clay color. It's going to be 23, originally $47. 
And I like how vivid these reds are in the roses and those little buds that are coming up. Very, very cute. Next up, I do have some spoons for you guys. So number six, we are looking at a seven inch spoon. This is in the pattern Joy and it is $11 today, originally 23. This is from Ceramic Artist Stitch Knot and you can see it has a lot of very fun, bright colors here. And like I mentioned, this is the seven inch. We show the five and six inch much more often since we don't have too many of these. And for size comparison, I will show you this against the latte mug. So you've got a good amount of room here at the edge of your spoon. Hope you guys like this new green screen that we are using. Wanting to just switch it up a little bit, to try something new. Number seven, I have this sort of shovel-shaped spoon, and this is in the pattern Luminosity for $18. This is a Unicat pattern. It is pattern 4912. You can see the pattern a little better on the back, but it consists of these really soft blues, almost a light lavender color, and some nice white flowers. There's a lot of very pretty, just delicate detailing in this pattern. And I've seen people use this to scoop sugar into their coffee and tea. It's also just a fun shape. Oh, and that was a five inch spoon. This is also a five inch, but it is going to be from Zikwadi. So it's a little bit of a different shape. This is about five and a half inches for number seven was five and a quarter. This is the flowering peacock pattern for $22, originally 44. You can see the classic pattern come down into the bowl of the spoon as well as on the back. They're just nice pieces to have around the house. I think the five inch spoons across pretty much any manufacturer that I've seen them are a great size for baby spoons. Number nine, I have one more from Zikwade. This is the polka dot pattern for 18 and this is a six and a quarter inch spoon. So just a little bit longer than number eight. And it just has the classic cobalt polka dots everywhere. And that is 18, originally 36. And I have one more spoon for you guys. This one is the same shape as number seven, so that shovel shape. And it is the blue bouquet pattern. This is a U5, by the way. And it is 28, originally 56. Let me give you a little closer view of that spoon. And the pattern is the same on the other side, but we've got our cereal here.
And all of these spoons, yes, I had to double check to make sure, but all of these do have this little hole at the end so that you can create a little hanging collection if you would like. Next up, I do have some dessert plates. This is going to be the peacock leaves pattern, and this is from Ceramic Artist Stitch, as will be the rest of the dessert plates. This is $21, originally $42. So these are just about eight inches. Yeah, seven and a quarter, so almost right there. But these are perfect for a little lunch, a small snack. It's just a good everyday size. And who doesn't love the peacock leaf pattern? All right, so I'm gonna make some room for our next set of pieces. Number 12, I have Prairie Land. This is, again, same size, so we're looking at seven and three quarters of an inch. This is gonna be $35, originally 70. And I absolutely love how serene this pattern is, and it's very green-based in contrast to the traditional blue-based. It even has a green rim. Here we go. It's just, it's a very peaceful pattern. I enjoy it a lot. We have a tea, yeah, a tea set in our store and it is just gorgeous. And it's in, if you didn't catch on, it's on this pattern, but it is just beautiful. It's one of those things where like, I really want someone to get it because it's so gorgeous, but at the same time, I really want it. So, Number 13, our next seven and three quarters inch plate is this soft starry flowers pattern. It is going to be 31, originally 62. And there is a lot going on here. It is quite abstract, but it is so, so pretty. I like the mixture of the different shades of blue here and the accents of that green. It is just so whimsical and fun. I like it a lot. The picture really doesn't do it justice. It looks much prettier in person. Number 14, I have another U5 piece for you guys. This is going to be the Country Boutique pattern for $50, originally 105. And it is just so darling. It is very feminine and light in its tones. So it has very soft pinks and yellows and greens. It is just too cute. This is by Maria Stajic. And that is 4812 for the pattern number. I feel like Country Boutique was the most fitting name for this because I cannot imagine another pattern name that would wrap up what this looks like. And number 15, we have Groovy Blues. This is going to be 31, originally 62. And like I said, 11 through 15 are all the same shape. 
And this one has, it's really just kind of groovy. It's one of those funky patterns, more abstract and less modern. So we've got the various circles of some just being that kind of gray denim and then some having the light ring and then the white and then the blue inside of it. So lots to look at here while it is still a simple pattern. All right. If you like the green screen, we should all thank Nick. Uh, there is not a single part of me that had anything to do with the making of this because that's not my field of expertise. Nick was behind here smiling, super goofy. Number 16, I have this gorgeous scarf for you guys on. It looks like the color is a little different, but it is not quite a cobalt color, but sort of this, wow, yeah. I couldn't even tell you what color it is, but it's gorgeous. I will definitely send pictures to anybody who needs them, but it's a sort of navy mixed with some green undertones here but it is $22, originally 44, and this is a 40 inch scarf, and that is both in length and width. These are so, uh, they're large enough in size to where you could use them as a shawl as well, and not just a scarf. I'm gonna open a little bit of this so you can see the intricate design. It is just stunning, especially with the winter months up ahead. A beautiful scarf like this is just what everybody needs. And it does have some fun little tassels on the corners. But this is just a stunning piece. We have these in other colors as well, so we'll definitely be posting those. Number 17, I have this polyester napkin. This can be used as a placemat during Christmas. You can see it has the red rim and some nice red candle setting here. Only $8, originally 16. This does measure to be about 13 inches in diameter. So even if you're using up to the 10 and a half inch plates, you will still see the rim all around. I'm gonna give you a little bit more of a close-up so you can see the intricate detailing here. It's just very, very cute. But these can also be used as a liner in something like a bread basket or the covering for one. Possibilities are endless. Number 18, I do have a little bag for you guys. This is going to be $20, originally 40. This measures about six inches by four. And it has the pattern repeating on both sides of that black folk pattern. These can be used as cosmetic bags or just something to keep in your purse to keep everything nice and stored away. That's just the filling. And it does have a little wristlet as well. So you could use this as your everyday little purse. You can put like a couple cards in here. Depending on your phone size, your phone might also fit in here. And let me, there we go. There's a lot of information on this, but it's small. So I will show you much as I can. 
Eleven. The yeah. So this was number 11, the peacock leaf dessert plate, and that is $21. Moving on to number 19. I have a face mask for you guys. These are just $4. It is $9 originally. So they do have the elastic bands here so it can stretch. And as you can see, this is the type that would go, or it is specifically shaped to go up and over your nose. So if you have glasses, it would sit on top of the mask. So you're not dealing with that inconvenience of like your glasses fogging up every time you try to breathe through your mask. As a fellow four-eyed fellow, wait, fellow four-eyed, yeah, I guess it goes both ways, but I understand the struggle, so I wanted to show you this shape of mask that we have. Fellow four-eyed friend, that's what I should have said, huh. And number 20, I have a little keychain for you guys. This one's going to be in a white bulk pattern, and it is a small pendant. This is $8 originally, I think 16 Yeah. And this one has that same design on here as they are from Folkstar. These are just nifty little things. Great stocking stuffers. All right, next up I do have a couple of dinner plates, but you couldn't think I found any for under $50, but I did. Number 21, this is going to be a nine and a quarter inch plate, so it is smaller than the 10 and a half. This is 31, originally 62 in the water tulip pattern. I know a lot of people who prefer the nine inch, this is going to be lighter than the 10 and a half, if that is something that deters you from the Ceramica dinner plates. So if you don't mind losing that inch and a half in diameter, these are perfect for you it doesn't make too much of a difference. And this is just a lighthearted take on the traditional patterns. I like the use of empty space here with these sort of, it looks like stepping stones or like the inverse of blue eyes. Alrighty. Number 22, I do have another nine inch plate. This one is going to be from Zikwadi Sedimichna this time for 36 in the flowering peacock pattern. This one is about nine and a half inches. So just that half inch difference between 21 and 22. It is 36, originally 76. The difference in shape isn't too severe between 21 and 22. This one does have a slight lip that goes outwards, whereas 21 does not have this lip. So it's all about personal preference, whatever you like and will stack well best in your kitchen. Oh, there we go.
Uh, some blossom. I need to use some stands. Taking up too much room. All right. And all right. Number 23, this is going to be a 10 inch plate from Ceramica Artisticna in the fancy heart pattern. This is 37, originally 74. This one's just very cutesy. So we have the large hearts all around the room, but also little small ones in the center. And this is the 10 inch, not 10 and a half. So it does not have the holes in the back for hanging. And that is from Ceramica. And that is by Maria Shivet. I know I'm not going to say it right. Shivetska. I've said it before and Monica corrected me and I cannot remember how she said to say it instead. So, my apologies. Number 24, this one is the 10 and a half inch, so it will have the holes at the back. This is Bob Show's Garden, and it is 41, originally 93. This one is just very fun and summery. It has lots of the orange and reds here in those flowers. And it really does just, at least it reminds me of whenever you go out and you're just smelling your grandma's flowers or picking them whenever she told you not to. As you can see, we've got the holes here. And that's just so that if you would like, you can hang it on your walls, but it does not affect the functionality of the plate as a dinnerware piece in any way, shape or form, so. And 25, this is a 10 and a quarter inch plate from Manufactura in the heart disco pattern. This one is another one of those very fun patterns. So we have the navy blue or cobalt blue against the background and some rainbow hearts. So it's just, it's cute. It's very cute. 41, originally 83. It is just adorable. This one is also lighter. I know that it's just a lot of people like their dishes to be easily manageable and sometimes the weight can factor into that, so. Yeah, very cute. Like the heart stamps almost, like little heart-shaped cookies. Next up, I have a couple of bakers for you guys, of course. Had to throw some in there. Twenty-six. I have this round baker from Ceramica Bona in the spring flowers pattern. It's going to be forty-one dollars. Originally eighty-two. This does measure about eight inches from handle to handle. Your diameter is looking at about six and a half inches. 
and it is just about two inches in height. And we do have plenty of pieces in this pattern. And I like the pattern goes all the way around this piece. It's not just on the inside. I think this is a great size for doing little, what is it? They're like biscuit pull-aparts or cheesy biscuit pull-aparts. I don't know. I've seen people make it on TikTok. How many inches? Eight inches with the handle, six and a quarter without. Or six and a half for number 26. Number 27, this is a 10 inch baker. So it's going to be 10 inches with your handles, eight inches without. And it is $37 today, originally 75. This pattern is called White Blossoms. So depending on how you're viewing this, you may look at this and think that it's just little red polka dots everywhere, but Tis Not has these delicate white detailings all in the flowers here. And along the rim, if you look closely, you can see that there is a little bit of vinery as well. This is a, one of those patterns that I just wish cameras worked a little better so that you can really see how intricate this is. And it has a brown rim rather than the traditional cobalt. Yeah, this is perfect for a little personal pizza, your cinnamon rolls, a baked dip, such as like spinach and artichoke dip. There's, they're a good everyday size and they can be used for multiple meals or snacks. Number 28, I have a mini loaf pan from Ceramica Artistichna. This is about six and a quarter by three and three quarters of an inch. So it is smaller than the traditional loaf pan size, which is about eight inches. This is 34, originally 68. And it's Choppy Waters for the pattern name. So just really monotone blue. and the repeating pattern of these cute little flowers surrounded by the leavery here. But these will be so cute to make smaller servings of like pumpkin bread. This season is coming up. And these do hold about 14 ounces and are just a little over two inches in height. Absolutely. The 10 inch or the 10 and a half? I just want to make sure I'm showing all the right things. Turn on your mic then. Okay. Well, Nick told me that one of y'all asked to see more 10 inch plates. I just want to make sure it's the 10 inch or the 10 and a half inch. Anyways, 29. This is from Zaguete Sedemichna in the retro green pattern. Ten, all right, more 10 inch, definitely. This piece is going to be $30, originally 61. And I like this pattern so, so much. I think it's just very different from a lot of what I have seen previously. I like that it's just, it's very symmetrical. So if you were to cut this in half and flip it, you're probably looking at a pretty similar image. And it's also on the outside here as well. This measures almost 10 inches long with the handles. Without is about five inches. I think this would be great for serving something like green beans or creamed corn because the handles are making it easy to transport this. I don't think I showed to the bottom. There we go. But 
But yeah, I just, I like this two-tone green pattern. I think it's cute. I'm actually considering getting, right now everything in my house doesn't match. I have all these different patterns and I absolutely love them, but I'm thinking of getting a matching set and that is definitely high up on my list. And number 30, this is the 10 by seven Baker. This is the pattern Summer Meadow for 31, originally 77. It's just happy in tones. We've got light greens mixed with the dark and that really nice summer yellow. This is another wonderful everyday size. I know that Monica used this size for her plum cake video, which if you have not tried plum cake, that definitely needs to be on the top of your list of things to cook tomorrow. Nick said that plum cake's not as good as rhubarb cake, which everybody has their opinions. I think they're both just as good. I tried some rhubarb cake and I've never had rhubarb in my life and it was delicious. But plum cake still has a special place in my heart. Next up, I have a couple ornaments for you guys. This one is this beautiful blue glass ornament in the heart shape. It measures just about three and a half inches long, and it is just $18 today, originally 36. As you can see, it's multiple shades of blue, so it's not just one toned. The way the light reflects off of it is just gorgeous. And I believe we have a few different colors in this shape as well. But it's just so, so cute. And it is not very heavy. While it's glass, it's not super heavy, so it shouldn't be weighing down any of your tree branches too much. Number 32, I have this beautiful big glass ornament. It is in the pink mist pattern and this does measure to be about five inches in diameter. It is $28 and you can see, I know there's a little bit of a glare, but you can see that there's so many different colors in this and it is, there are no words. It is just gorgeous. Reminds me of like a stained glass window. Oh, you can see my reflection in it. Hello. But gosh, now that's all I can focus on. Okay, moving on to number 33. Don't move. There we go. Number 33, I have this sit little Christmas tree pendant in the Dancing Blue Poppies pattern for $18. The great thing about these is that they can, of course, be ornaments just by stringing through some ribbon or rope or the like metal pieces, whatever you have, but they can be necklaces as well. It's just too cute. And these are just a little under three inches in height. I know we're showing a lot of Christmas stuff lately, but you can never start too early. I have learned, that's probably one of the biggest lessons I've learned as an adult, is that if you really wanna be prepared for Christmas and all the shopping that goes along with it, you gotta start in January. Number 
Number 34, I do have another one of those pendants for you. This one is in a snowflake shape for $15. So this, you can kind of pick and choose where you would like to hang it from. So you can do any of the openings on this side. There is one in the center as well, but I don't want to peel off this quality sticker. But in the picture, you can see that there's a hole in the middle. And these measure about three inches as well. And now number 35, this is a ornament from Manufactura in the red primrose pattern for $14, originally $29. This one does come with a ribbon already. And that cobalt is gonna match the little blue dots all on this piece. And the pattern just repeats itself all the way around. So now that we've shown all of these ornaments, not only on the show, but all the ones we're going to show, all the ones we have shown, I better see all of y'all's Christmas trees all over the attics page covered in these Polish pottery ornaments. Number 36, I have a bowl for you. This is going to be a five inch bowl in the Misty Dragonfly pattern by Teresa Liana for $17, originally $35. This is a perfect bowl for a small serving of ice cream, doing some various toppings for something like an ice cream bar or a taco bar. And here is your stamp. And that is from Ceramic Artist Stitch. I don't think I said it. And they do hold 12 ounces. Oh, I just realized that those stands were in the frame. I didn't even notice. Heck. Anyways, 37. This is the same shape, so it is still a five inch bowl. This is going to be $29, originally 58 for this Divine Meadow pattern. And this is so intricate, not only in the center, but you can see there's a lot going on around the edge as well. And then here we have a, a sort of a different meadow scene than what you see on the inside, which I really like in these black accents. So it doesn't exactly mimic what is on the outside, but I enjoy that. All right, coming up on our last few pieces for this afternoon. Number 38, this is a six inch bowl from Ceramic Artist Stitch now for $28, originally 56. So it is about six and a half inches. This one is quite delicate, has very soft blues. And this is the shape, as you can see, where it narrows out a little more towards the bottom versus the six and a half that has more of a straight edge. And those white pansies, it's just too cute. Right. 
39. This is Bunches of Beauty for $41, originally 82. This is just so cute. I like that the tones of blue here differ from here and it almost makes it look purple along with, of course, the white detailing. I am a sucker for white flowers against the clay color. I think it just looks so elegant. And we have that on the outside as well. And that is $4,980. And that is the same shape as 38, so six and a half inches narrower towards the bottom. And number 40, I have this cute fluted bowl from Ceramica Bona in the spring flowers pattern for $50, originally 100. This is just a little over seven inches in width. I think this is the perfect serving bowl if you were having a small dinner for maybe just you and your spouse or for you and your one or two kids. This is great for doing stuff like potato salad, coleslaw, mac and cheese. This makes me all want barbecue the more I list those sides. It holds about 29 ounces. And it's just, it's a happy medium size, so it's not too small, not too big. It's just good. It's just good. And that is what we have for today's show. Thank you all so much for joining us. We are going to be here next week, of course. If you have any suggestions for what the show's theme should be, just let us know. We would be happy to hear them. And remember, if you are a new customer, we will need your email address. Once we have it the first time, we don't need it again. We will just need it if you decide to change your email address. Shipping is free for orders over $99 to the lower 48 states. Other than that, it's just a $9 fee. I don't think I left anything out, so I will see you guys next week. Until then, have a great day. Bye.